Hi everybody, so today what we will be making, on, and I kind of give, gave you a little hint um, in the earlier videos, we will be making a homemade clay. Now where the reason I wanted to make this was because most of my classes, um, if we were still in school, what we would be making at this point would be something to do with clay. I was super excited, it's a kid favorite, so it's kind of sad that we couldn't be there to do it, but I figured I can give you an easy recipe to be able to make it at home with just simple materials that you probably already have at home. Okay, so um, what we'll be making is something called a salt dough. It's gonna feel a lot like pizza dough or Play-Doh once it dries a little bit. Um, you can mold it and form it, but once it dries, you can paint it and decorate it the way you want. If you don't have paint, um, I'm gonna research a couple other ways you can decorate. I'm pretty sure you can use Sharpies or other markers um, as long as you coat it with something else afterwards for it to hold, um, but we can talk about that at a different time. So what you're going to need today is first off you're going to want to be in an area that's pretty cleared. Like I moved aside my phone, I moved aside any papers, I don't want to get wet, and it will get a little bit messy, but you want to make sure you're in a space that you can contain that mess. Um, so a few things that you will need. First is a mixing bowl from your kitchen. Um, mine's pretty large. You don't need something this big, but the bigger the place, the more it's easier to contain the mess. Um, the second thing you will need is something to go under your salt dough. So this is parchment paper, and the reason I'm using it is because the salt dough will not stick to the said parchment paper. It, um, it kind of has a wax resist, so the stickiness won't stick to it. It'll be easy to pull off. Um, if I would just do it on my table or on my mat here, it would more than likely stick and take me a long time to get off and create a mess. So you want something underneath it. You can use parchment paper. If you have wax paper in your kitchen, which is another um, baking style sheet that you usually put in the oven, you can grab that as well. And if not, you can also grab just a blank sheet of cardboard. So this was originally um, a Reese Puffs <laughs> cereal box, but I just like open it up and I can set this down and the same thing, it will um, kind of absorb the moisture and it won't stick to the cardboard. So this is something else that's great for a placement. Um, okay, so after that, you will need flour. Again, just from your kitchen. Make sure if you're doing this, get permission from mom, dad, brother, sister, whoever does the grocery shopping at your house in case they need this for something to eat. Like, definitely ask permission. Um, you will need salt. And then finally, you will need warm water. It's very crucial that this water's warm, not like boiling hot, but warm, because the warm water will activate the yeast in the flour, and the flour helps us like get that um, sticky, doughy material that we're looking for. So, the first thing you'll need is in your big bowl, you are going to get two parts flour, one part salt, one part water, and I'm gonna break that down. So, I got a few measuring tools. I have um, one cup, it's just like a little measuring cup, it says one cup right here. This is only going to be used on your flour, so you need one cup flour. If you get a little less or a little extra, that's okay. You can always, the cool thing about doing an experiment like this is you can always add more if you don't feel the consistency is good. So about one cup of flour, put it in my bowl. It says one half cup. You're gonna get a half cup of salt and then a half cup of water. So I'm gonna move my flour away. Now these salt containers and this flour, I'm pretty sure I got originally from Dollar Tree, each dollar. Um, and I know like we really can't go out right now, but if you didn't wanna do this in the future, you can get it for a reasonable price. So I'm gonna pour half cup salt, goes in with your dry flour. You want to mix your dry materials, meaning the flour and the salt first. So I'm gonna mix them up. Just with my hands, it's going to feel kind of cool. It feels like sand. I think you think you're at the beach. I wish I was at the beach. Okay, so once you got that mixed up, it should pretty much look like that. Um, you'll have some on your hands, so be careful if you're wearing black. It was a poor choice on my part. Um, flour really likes to go to that. Now that we've done half a cup of salt, I had just a measuring cup filled with water. Now I filled it up with a little bit more than half a cup just in case my consistency wasn't the way I wanted it. It's always good to have more and less. Just don't pour the whole thing. Only pour about a half a cup. So I'm going to pour my water. Remember it's warm in my little half cup so it's equal. See it's a little bit more than a half a cup and I'm going to just pour it in slowly. Now this is the fun part. This is the part where you get to be a little messy. Um, you take your hands. I'm going to stand up. Um, 
again, this is supposed to be warm because the warm water will activate the yeast in the flour and you'll start to get a consistency that, again, it looks like a little bit like pizza dough. Now, we don't want it to be crumbly, so that's when you look at it, and if it's crumbly like mine is, you want to squeeze it a little bit more. The moisture should be able to stick it together, and you should be able to form a single ball of your salt dough. So, I can see that my dough can start to form a ball. There we go. I'm going to set that aside while I try to get the rest of my dough together. And if you feel like it's a little too crumbly, just add a little bit more water, not a lot. The more water you add, the more likely it's going to turn into a goo, and you don't want a goo. Got basically two little dough balls formed. I'm going to try sticking them together. And if you played with clay in the art room before, it's a lot like that where the more you play with it, the drier it's gonna get and the, you won't be able to make something out of it. So you wanna be quick when you wanna make something out of it. Okay, I'm gonna move my ball or my bowl aside. Hi again. So I have my dough. It's formed into a nice ball and then I can set it on my parchment paper or whatever you choose as your placemat. Now you have an option. You can either make something out of it right now and then let it dry and then you can paint it. Or if you want to make it later and think about what you want to do, what you also will need is just like a nice sealed container. So I'm using a Tupperware container since it is materials from the kitchen it isn't toxic. So it's okay to use it in a Tupperware container that you will use again later. Um, so you can place it in there cover it. It needs to be sealed. If it's not sealed, it will dry out, just like our clay would in the art room. And then you can refrigerate this. Now the clay will only work for up to five days if you do refrigerate it. So let's say you put it in today, you need five days. In five days you need to get it out and make something out of it. And if you do take it out of the, um, the fridge, you want to be able to mold it into whatever you want right away. You don't want to let it sit and get warm because it will get really sticky and it won't form what you need. So that's a basic recipe how to make your salt dough. Um, I'd love to see what you like to create out of, create out of it. Um, so if you do end up creating something and if you do make salt dough, if it works for you, um, take a picture of either your ball of dough so I can see you did it or um, take a picture of what you end up creating. I'm probably going to put this away and make another video to show you what I'm going to make with it in the next day or two. But, um, so if you do end up making something, make sure it sets up on your parchment paper or some material that won't let it get stuck to it. So like what we talked about, cardboard, parchment, wax paper, all those good things. Um, place it on there and then it will take a while to dry depending on how thick it is. Like this ball would take a long time to dry, but if it's a lot thinner, it might take about a week and what you will want to do is each day let it dry and then flip it onto the other side. So that bottom side that was once stuck to the paper is probably a little wetter than the top of it. Flip it so that side can dry and you're going to flip it each day until you feel it's completely dry. Once it's completely dry, you can paint it or decorate it in the way you want. Alright, well I hope that you have a successful salt dough experience and that you can use this for multiple times in the future if you ever want to make a homemade clay at home and you don't have Play-Doh or just clay in general, like I don't. Okay, so have fun. I can't wait to see it. Bye.